welcome back. Bo for here another day. Today we have Silas. That's a little bit of a different here from this video series. Silas, one of the kings of tripling. One of the kings of taking advantage of early, early, early tickets and lining up boards to take early triples. Well, turns out tripling is a big part of this meta. And when you can get consistent early triples, then you can win lobbies. And I can mean win them hard. More than anything. Today we got to test a, well, let's just call it a, a misconception in the community that seems to think that dragons don't really work anymore. Dragons still work. They are hard to get online. But if you can get there quickly, and you can stabilize, then you win. That simple. Even at high MMR, where people are saying, yeah, it's too slow. High MMR, you can still make dragons work. It's just uh, precarious to get it done. Sometimes you gotta high roll a little bit. Mm -hmm. High, high pitch voices, we're getting scared. All right, everybody. <laughs> just laugh at yourself, Bofer. Nobody else is laughing. Enjoy. I got the sneeze. Always three on three? I don't think so. If Quill Boars were in the lobby, I'd agree. Without Quill Boars in the lobby, I'm not going to agree. I, I played the second Alley Cat, or the Alley Cat, before I discovered I should have looked. Little bit of an oversight there. Because if we got a pack leader as the best option, we should have played the Alley Cat after. Kazumtai. Thank you. Bless you. If Quill Boars were in the lobby, Quill Boars and Mechs, I'd always go to three on three. Without Quill Boars being in the lobby, there isn't a lot of incentive to do it. Because next turn just becomes double by Alley Cat. Which the Alley Cat portion of the, the Tabby Alley combo isn't that valuable to you. To shoot for a three star. If you hit a, a, a three star into Kagar, it's also a four star. Which is pretty cool. But... If you don't hit a Kagar, then we're really just kind of sitting there doing nothing now, aren't we? Pick a four star this turn. You could double buy things that aren't Alley Cat, or we could just double. Oh, we went to three on three. Okay, so we're just going to buy this and this and hold. Yeah. Then we're gonna level next turn, and then we're probably leveling and taking five star with the Alley Cat triple or the Tabby Cat triple. We'll take a little bit of damage, and they said "bless you" out loud as if someone could hear me. I hear you now. Bless you. I'm not joking, I'm your FBI guy. Gotta turn that webcam off. Alright, these are pretty damn good hits. Any world, it's a six star. No Quobors, no pirates. Makes the sixes a lot weaker. Like, what are you looking for? Because next turn is always level. We even have level plus roll. If we get another alley cat, it's a double triple. Good luck, Bo, for my tier four hero will high roll. Good luck, Niff. Get him. We gotta see the next board. Both are you a coffee drinker? Um, yes, to a degree. I, I drink a cup of coffee or maybe two, depending on the day in the morning, to start the day, and then I switch to tea. Hmm. 
was an unfortunate set of hits. Over max damage on a 70% to lose. Hmm. I really just want to buy this level. Take the damage for one turn. And then take a six star next turn. Primary reason is we're also Silas. So if we go to five and then we end up buying a ticket next turn, we take a six star and a five star. Like, sure, we're not strong, but it's also a Zarela that has not tripled either. So, like, what are we what are we scared of? Like, we take 8 to 10 damage max. It's only turn 6. What's up, Jonak? How's it going? Not a taunt cop stream. People leave. Now, yeah, look at this. We're winning this round. He's taking a 6 star as well. Good job. We, uh... We both balanced our boards so that we do very small damage to each other and we both get to take six stars. How nice. Good teamwork, Zarella. We do I do minimal damage to you, below minimum. Beautiful. <laughs> Good rain. Oh my god, there it is. Alright, well, here we go. I want the faceless for next turn. Over buying tempo here. I kind of want it. Yeah, buff that spawn. Yo, Mobsu with the tier one. Yo, thank you, dude. For pulling the trigger on the sub. It's been a pleasure having you around. Appreciate the support, man. Ooh, another coin. That was a bad hit. It's a bad hit. Why are all the hits bad? All right, so we lost the seven percenter. Feels like a good greed, but you know. Seven percenters. Back and he got two coins. For action. Back for more go for action. Yo, Fishmas, with the six months, dude. Thank you so much. Let's go find ourselves. What? <laughs> Bob? What's going on over here? Hmm, probably worth it, right? All right, all right, all right, all right. We got the double Kaggar into token, into a brand, brand double Kaggar, or brand double uh, Calicos. 
frozen faceless on the board. Just don't die and we turn the corner next turn. That was a good hit. Reasonable. Tolerable. 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 Okay. This looks fun. Sapphire would be like... Did you see the pause, though, in the middle of that? You see the middle of it? It paused. It's very annoying. I look at our five star first. We get another brand. We're definitely buying this. The question is what else? The ticket, probably. The other battle cry doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, we can't flush this. So we gotta drop here. You suck. I know, man. I know. <laughs> I want something else. All right, we're going to roll. Elemental battle cry better than probably better than a good minion. Putting another dragon on the board would have been good too, but it's a battle cry as opposed to putting like Malganus on that board. Hard to justify doing something else because we just need to play for stats. Makes a 5-7, which is like equivalent to the stats of those other things. And it's a battle cry, so it gives our board a 6-6. Six, six. It's a pretty good hit. Pretty good hit too. Pretty good hit too. All right, we'll take the tie. 20 to die. Yo, Tim Hawk with a 50. I know I suck, dude. You don't have to keep rubbing it in. You want to module this? I don't think so. Not quite. Alright, Bran. This is a Bran. Easiest Bran of my life. Spore or Razor Gore? Probably try to turn this corner. A little gross. We want a ghoul. We want anything that gives us more battle cries. I don't I don't care about this one that much. We have one more board we can look at. Not a ghoul. At least he doesn't have Murlocs, so if we just have enough stats, we should be okay. Mm-hmm. Depends on what he has, really. But like that board, we know he has multiple taunts, so we'll double bump. Two battle cries and tickets. It's debatable. They're just bad battle cries. Do what I gotta say, I've been watching Twitch streamers for a year, or from year 2014, and you were the first sub I've ever bought. You were the first streamer who really got me thinking, this guy doesn't try to be something he's not. Keep it up, dude. Yo, Mobsu. That's one of the kindest sentiments I have heard on the nine months I've been doing this. I think you try, I mean, that was uh, kind of 
hits a nail on the head on what I've been trying to do. Because, I mean, I am just... This is just me. I'm just me. I may not succeed at this. I may, you know, may work. You suck. But that's just me. I, I figure if I can't really do... Can't really do... What I'm trying to do by just being me, then uh, it was kind of gonna fail anyway so yeah thank you yeah I don't really want this <sighs> oh my god I guess we're not gonna do another one this is just gonna be one big thing stuttering yeah I know man this is kind cinnamon Maybe this is the end of the brand dream. Maybe we just put the uh, other dragon on the board. I don't know about that though. Passed on Hank, disaster. Keeping the brand generates a lot of value. No Murlocs, remember, but... It's also a triple, which is a big deal because we don't ha really have the leverage to go to six here. But without pirates and without Murlocs, brand's value is pretty low. I think I'm just letting it go. I think I'm just keeping that on the board for the turn. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Ticket it shot for Golden Varan. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an option. It is. There are a lot of options there. The question is, how much do you really want to hold Golden Varan? Dude, could you, like, lay off the high roll? I mean, it's not enough, but... That was a golden Mura transition. There were a lot of options there. The question is, do you want to hold the brand anymore? In a typical lobby, if we had Murlocs and Pirates and Elementals and Dragons or whatever in, where there's a lot of things you can do. Yeah, like... <laughs> this is so good. I want to go up, but I also wanted to be able to try for golden brand before I do it. All right, now we're going up. Do this first. Not what I'm looking for. George is dead. Mex, um, Mex. Demons? Demons? So ticket on it as well. It's probably worth taking. We assume he's nothing, so he's put the Light Fang on the board for the scaling. Who had the Golden Light Fang? Chimbala. You can see that on stream, right? I have the overlay showing. Yeah, up at the top. As long as you don't have the other stream overlay over top of that. Bro, the second you suck was not me. Yo, Marika with the 50 bits. You suck. That, that, that was an ignored you suck. Dude, I was all focused. I must have just flat out ignored it. Almost 50 bits to waste. Good call out on me not acknowledging a you suck. Yeah, it was always Tim Hawk. Honestly, it's in the spirit of Tim Hawk every time someone says you suck. It's just this is Tim Hawk speaking.
Yeah, I'm just going to scale. I'm going to scale for one more turn. Because I don't expect a guff to be a counterboard to what we're doing. I would love a Nadina at some point. It's a really good board. We're going to roll anyway. So let's uh, toss this first. I don't remember what was on his board. I didn't necessarily have to do that in that order. What Argus? Oh man, just Fur Reaper for the turn. I am severely underestimating this guy, but I think it's correct from this position to underestimate him. I buffed both. You could argue a buffing one was better. You just put like a only taunt brand, put it in position seven, just as a divine shield break. Stops cleave. But this is very likely going to be sold next turn if we don't hit the triple. Hi, I'm Tim Hawk, and I approve this message. If the message is you suck, we know who it's from. Hit the other way. But damn. There's a lot of good stuff if we hit a Murzen. There's a Bran, there's a, another Devourer, there's a Battlecry, and there's a Myxna. Great start today? Yeah, it feels like a good game. I mean, it's at least an interesting game. Whether or not we get first or second in this one. Let's go find Nadina. It's way more important than something like that. You could argue that this is trash, though, so we should pick up this. And I don't quite mind that. We always have the Ghoul as a last position. Nadina. One, two, three that we had have to sell to get this. But it is two battle cries because we play faceless into it. We'd sell brand, we'd sell faceless, and we'd sell one. Have to be the other brand. Doesn't make it bad. The other two things on the board are what are going to be played. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one. That'll do just fine. Uh-huh. Oh. Over squeak. It's the only thing with a ticket. Bob was saying this one. This one right here. I'm not sure stats are actually relevant here for the next turn. This is probably hard roll for ghoul slash Nadina. Both would be very, very solid from this position. Now, we're obviously planning a next turn, because obviously freezing the board only affects next turn. There's no next turn. You sound like an early Mickey Mouse? Oh, oh. oh. we're going for Mickey Mouse? Oh, oh. I see that family guy, like the mice in the walls. If anybody knows that one. I'm not going to do a rendition of it on stream, though. 
Yo, Howard Moon, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. It was a bold strategy. We Khadgar transitioned, you know, a baby Khadgar transitioned into double Calicos and won a lobby. A baby. We used a faceless to take an extra Khadgar, flushed our board to take an alley cat into a triple with double face or double Khadgar. Picked up a brand, used it the whole time, and then just built like three to four dragon menagerie, or uh, what we want to call that. Four dragons, one battlemaster, Bran, and then transitioned into, you know, hitting the Nadina at the end. It would have been really close if we didn't have Nadina. We would have had a ghoul.